गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ एट होम मैं सर श्वेता मुदगल अ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ शिव ज्योति एजुकेशनल ग्रुप कोटा सो स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द रिमेनिंग टॉपिक्स ऑफ द चैप्टर टेन ऑफ हिस्ट्री डेट इज योर लास्ट चैप्टर प्रीवियस टॉपिक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर द टू टॉपिक्स दैट इज प्लानिंग फॉर डेवलपमेंट एंड द नेशन सिक्सटी ईयर्स ऑन ठीक है दिस टू टॉपिक्स वी विल कवर सो ओपन योर बुक दैट इज पेज नंबर 136 सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद प्लानिंग फॉर डेवलपमेंट स्टूडेंट्स जैसे कि मैंने आपको बताया दैट आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस वी फेस्ड सो मैनी स्ट्रगल्स विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस बट नाउ वी मूव ऑन फॉर द प्लानिंग फॉर द डेवलपमेंट हाउ इट हैपन्स जब हम कोई भी न्यू बिगनिंग स्टार्ट करते हैं तो हम एक रफ वर्क या फ्रेम वर्क एक एजेंडा सॉर्ट ऑफ तैयार करते हैं कि डॉट वॉट वील वी हैव टू डू एंड वॉट वी विल नॉट डू सो इन दैट टॉपिक वी विल कवर द प्लानिंग दैट द इंडिया डिसाइडेड और द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ द इंडिया डिसाइडेड टू डू फॉर द बेटर और द फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द कंट्री नॉ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट Among other objectives for the nation, first of all, the main motto of the government was that to lifting India and Indians out of poverty, because we can. say that poverty was a big challenge at that time and for the better development of the country it was required to get the india free from the poverty and the second is building modern technical modern technical and industrial base and industrial base were among them because modern technical and industrial base plays a very important role in the overall growth and the development of the country okay now in 1950 the government set up what planning commission government set up planning commission students you can underline in your book also that the planning commission was set up in 1950 by the government of india what was its main purpose it helps to design to help design and execute what planning commission was appointed by the or to set up by the government of india to help design and execute suitable policies for the economic development of the country and under that it was agreed that india would follow mixed economy model which model mixed economy model you have to underline in your book that after independence india followed mixed economy model what was that i am going to tell you that under the economy model both the private and public sector would co exist means pri private or public dono sector honge what is private and public sectors i have already told you in the last chapter of geography again i am telling you in a brief that a private sector which is owned and run by the individuals and the group of individuals and the public sector which is owned and run by the government or the state government so in the planning commission it was agreed that india would follow mixed economy model now in 1956 second five year 
plan was formulated when was second five year plan was formulated in uh, in 1956 pradhan mantri jawahar lal nehru was a very big supporter of planning commission or planning process so in that it was focused mainly on the development of heavy industries किस पे फोकस किया गया इसमें सबसे ज्यादा कि हैवी इंडस्ट्रीज का डेवलपमेंट हो ओके स्टूडेंट्स हैवी इंडस्ट्रीज में भी स्टील एंड बिल्डिंग लार्ज डैम्स इन पे दो पे फोकस किया गया बिल्डिंग और लार्ज डैम्स को बनाने के लिए ठीक है स्टूडेंट्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सेकेंड फाइव ईयर प्लान now if we talk about yeah, as i have just told you that india focused for the development we can say the economic development of the country to build up a uh, heavy industries and building up large dams under that the bhilai you know where bhilai steel plant is situated the bhilai steel plant which is situated in chatisgarh came to be seen as a sign of development in modern india after independence okay here we have covered the topic plan planning for development ki development ke liye kya kya planning ki gayi kya kya unka main motto tha pradhan mantri jawahar lal nehru played a very important role in the development of planning commission as well as in the second five year plan and we are going to cover the last topic of this chapter that is the nation 60 years on 15th august 2007 india celebrated 60 years of its existence after independence at that time we have faced many achievement as well as failures we will discuss respectively first of all we are going to discuss the successes the biggest success success among them is that still india is a still india as a united and democratic country okay india is still a democratic and united country which is a very big achievement for us because it was said as i am going to read in on page number 139 second paragraph listen to me carefully it is written over here very clearly that many foreign observers had felt that india would not survive as a single country theek hai that it would break up into many parts unne bola gaya to bahut parts mein break ho jayegi with each region or linguistic group seeking to form a nation of its own others believe that it would come under military rule but however it, uh, others believe that it would come under military rule however as many as 13 general elections have been held since independence this shows that still we are united and democratic country this is one of the big achievement another we can talk that there is unity in diversity as we can say which is very much clear to you that yahan pe bahut sare regions religions language communities hone ke baad still we all are indians so we can say there is unity in diversity and the very important that we are having free press free press and independent judiciary ठीक है स्टूडेंट्स यू ऑल नो द मीनिंग ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट प्रेस एंड फ्री जुडिशरी इफ यू चॉक अबाउट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फ्री प्रेस मीन्स इन इंडिया 
media is free to write and print anything in against or in favor so that to make the people aware what is going on in our country means hamari jo press hai jo media hai wo free hai write kar likhne ke liye publish karne ke liye write articles publish ki what is going on in our country and to make people aware about the present scene of the country there is no restriction on the press koi restriction nahi hai ki they cannot write anything objectionable or anything as there is no restrictions means a free press another independent judiciary as you can say that the judiciary decision is final in any case it is not biased it is neutral jo bhi decision judiciary leti hai wo final hota hai जैसे कि अभी हम लोगों ने राम मंदिर के केस में देखा ठीक है बच्चों तो हम अगर बोले तो ये सब चीज़ें जो हैं इंडिया की इंडिपेंडेंस के बाद आज की डेट तक सक्सेस में आती हैं नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द फेलियर्स स्टूडेंट्स नाउ टॉक अबाउट द फेलियर्स अगर हम बात करें तो डीप डिवीजन परसेंस अभी भी एक डीप डिवीजन है अमंग द रिच एंड पुअर लोअर एंड अपर कास्टेस सो वी कैन सी द क्लैश बिटवीन डिफरेंट रिलीजियस ग्रुप्स इन मैनी स्टेट्स रिलीजियस ग्रुप्स के अंदर अभी भी क्लैशेज हैं लैंग्वेज को लेकर अपने स्टेट के एरियाज को लेकर लाइक दैट एंड वी कैन सी दैट देयर इज अ गल्फ बिटवीन रिच एंड पुअर ठीक है गल्फ बिटवीन रिच एंड पुअर डेट हैज वाइडन नाउ विच इज टू बी रिमूव्ड नाउ देर आर क्लैशेज बिटवीन एंड द अनटचेबल्स नंबर थ्री अनटचेबल्स और वी कैन से अनादर ट्राइबल ग्रुप्स आर स्टिल फेसिंग वायलेंस एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेशन दैट इज़ अ फेलियर अमंग दैम बट वी कैन नॉट डिनाई कि हमने बहुत कुछ अचीव किया है एज इट इज़ रिटर्न इन आर लास्ट पैराग्राफ ऑन पेज नंबर वन थर्टी नाइन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रिकोगनाइज इक्वलिटी बिफोर द लॉ इक्वल एवरीबडी इज इक्वल दे इज नॉट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द कास्ट एंड द रिलीजन But in real life, some Indians are more equal than others, judged by the standards it set itself at independence. The Republic of India has not been a great success, but it has been a failure. Either which have discussed, ये failure भी थे और successes दोनों हमने discuss किए. मेरा कोई भी चीज़ होती है, उसमें plus और minus point दोनों होते हैं. But it can be removed after a long time. So we have finished our chapter here. I have already told you the internal questions of this chapter. Marks all the question. mark all the question carefully and read the chapter thoroughly i hope you understood this chapter thank you